Brahman, which is basically consciousness or God, is the cause behind this universe. And one who has understood this fact can rightly be called a man of self-realization. A man being under the influence of his sensual perceptions falsely believes this world to be real and is unable to understand the real cause behind the existence of this world, which is not the case with a man of self-realization. Now let's break this down. Uh, Brahman or consciousness basically represents imagination. So what it's trying to say is the first and original being that you were before you fell into many incarnations or many generations until you are in the body you are in now which is uh, innumerable bodies and innumerable uh, lifetimes. Uh, like I said in many other tapes, many other videos, reincarnation dealing with it <clears throat> in your ancestral line, all from your mother and father all the way to God. That is uh, the incarnation we're talking about. Uh, so it says that Brahman or that God, that, it, that, that uh, consciousness, which is what I'm trying to tell you is imagination. The word Brahma represents creativity or imagination. So when we talk about the Big Bang, that's basically what we're talking about. Uh, all of these atoms and atomic particles, these photons uh, and these uh, atomic particles were all one in one big ball of light. You can see is the original sun. And that ball of light or that being of light is your true self, but that's God. So now it exploded and now we're all trapped in these individual bodies. <clears throat> but follow me, it says that... Uh, Brahman is the cause behind the whole universe and one who has understood this fact uh, can rightly be called a man of self-realization. <clears throat> so you have to understand that imagination is what created this whole reality. Imagination is what's creating it as we go on.